Hi guys, this is Annie. I hope you all are doing great tonight. And tonight I have this really nice elegant do for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And let me show you what we will need. So here we have the tools that we'll need for tonight's manicure. And I'm going to go over them with you really quickly. I am going to be doing my gradient with purple backing. So I have two shades of purple and a white. And for my stamping, I am doing it in almost a cranberry color. And I do have my favorite top coat here, which is my fast drying top coat. And I have my stamping plate, my scraper, my stamper. And I also have a little sponge here that I'll be doing my gradient with. If you don't have one of these, that's fine. Grab yourself one of those makeup sponges and that'll work perfectly. I have a little bit of jewels that I'll be decorating my accent nail with tonight. And to clean my stamper, I have my little tape roller brush here and some cotton on my cotton cloth to clean my stamping plate, a cleanup brush, and this is optional, but I do have my wax pencil for picking up my jewels right here. And I also have some liquid latex that I would be using. So if you have this, you know, good, use that because it's going to be messy. If you don't have it, you can even apply scotch tape around your nails and that's also going to help. To pick up the jewelry, if you don't have a wax pencil, get yourself a pair of tweezers. I have this to clean up my latex at the end. So now that we have everything ready, let's get started. Okay guys, so here I have already completed my right hand and I just want to give you a quick look at what we will be doing tonight. And this is what I have done here. So the first step that I did was applied white nail polish to all my nails. And tonight I've used my paparazzi polish and this one is called icing on the cake. So I've applied two coats on each nail and I've let that dry completely. And I've also gone ahead and done my decorating and stamping on these two because it takes a little while to dry. So um, I left these out so I could show you the procedure as long as the white polish is dry. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and apply some nail polish to this accent nail. And the purple that I'll be using for that is by CQ and it's called Silver Violet number 291. And I applied two coats of that and immediately placed my jewels on them so they can stick to the polish as I want them to. So that's my first coat. This is my second coat. And I have for my jewels tonight, I'll be using a little bit of rhinestone and I also have a little open circle and that's the one I'm going to take up first is the open circle. And that goes right in the middle of the nail. And I'm just going to tap that in as I usually do with all my other jewels and studs. And I have here rhinestones of the same color as my stamping polish. So I'll take the largest and put that right in the middle. Give that a little tap down as well to secure it. And then the two smaller ones go to the sides. And I like doing this when my nail polish is nice and wet. And I also like tapping it down because it does give it a little more stickiness to it to secure it a little better. And once that's there, I am going to apply a nice thick layer of top coat and let that set in. And when we're top coating the rest of the nails at the end, I will go ahead and do that again. So as you can see, I'm being very generous with my top coat because I want to lock that in there. And I usually mention this when I'm doing my jewels. If you do this properly, your jewels can last for the whole week or until your manicure is done when you're ready to remove it. So there we have a nice thick layer. And don't forget to cap the ends. And now let's move on to the gradient. 
So I have kept these two so you can see the gradient and the steps to it. And again, I am using white. I'm using that purple from CQ, which is a lighter purple. And I'm actually using an inch to dry purple as well for the gradient. And I'll put the darker color at the bottom, the lighter in the middle, and white tips. So let's do that, and I'll do the index finger first. And tonight I'll be using this little sponge. I found these on eBay if anybody's interested. So again, let's apply that top. Sometimes you have to go over the gradient to get the, the color that you prefer a couple times. So I'll do the top in purple, the darker color. Here comes the light one. And then my white. And the first thing I want to do is kind of line it up. You know, make sure that it's going exactly where I want them to go. So I'm going to line it up to see that the whole nail is getting covered. And then I'm actually going to roll it first. Like that. And make sure it's what I want to be covered. And then I'm going to start tapping it in. And as you can see, we have one coat off it. Now the thing is, when you're doing gradient, you don't want them to have, you know, you could see the lines on there. You don't want to see those lines. So you have to go back and kind of keep working on it until you can blend these colors really well to, to hide that lines. So like this one here, you could see where that heavy purple almost ends there. So I'm going to apply now some of the middle color to take that away. And then I'm going to go back now and try and hide that up a little. And as you can see, it has an even flow now. You don't see it like a solid line there anymore. I'm going to do the same for this. And now I want some more white on my tip, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Gradient's really not hard, but it does take just a little practice to get it perfect. And here I need a little purple there because my white is coming through too much. And that's more or less the color of what I want. So as you can see, you don't see too much of the lines because it looks like it's going, it's flowing right in. This one can use just a little more. That's better. And now I'm going to put some top coat on this and let it dry. And that's why I like my fast drying top coat, guys, because I don't have to wait very long. And I'm going to cap the ends right away. And while this is drying, it's going to take just a few seconds. But while this is drying, I am going to grab my stamping tools and I'll be right back with you guys. Alright guys, so here I am and I have the stamping plate that I'm using tonight. I just wanted to show you guys before I move it. It's actually from my Gogo Only collection and this is the Saint Lover plate. And if anybody's interested in this, I just done a review on it. So you could take a look at it. That's a great, great plate. So you can watch that if you'd like. The image I will be using off of this plate tonight is from the first row, the very last image. It's a very nice, elegant image. So that's the one I've chosen for tonight. And also, I'll be using my Born Pretty Nail Polish. And this is almost like a cranberry red or a wine red. It doesn't have a name to it. Um, 
And if it does, unfortunately, it's in Mandarin or something, so I can't understand it. But um, this is the color that I'll be stamping with. And I have my Bundle Monster Scraper. And I have a Semi Squishy Stamper. So let's go ahead and let's apply that image onto the nails. And this stamping polish, it's really, really, really good. I love, love, love the Born Pretty stamping polish. They're, the pigments are really great on it. And I have no problems with it. There's the image. So I'm just going to roll it on. And there's it. So let's do it for that nail as well. There it is. And I just press down on the ends that's lifted. And right away, I'm going to apply my top coat before removing the latex. When removing your latex, try and pull it back because you don't want anything to fall on the nail itself. Do the same for the next finger. And now we'll just clean up around the edges. Tonight I will be using my cleanup brush. And any brush would work. You don't have to get a special brush for this. Just make sure it's nice and thin at the end. You just don't have too much of the nail polish remover to your nails that you already done. Now that we're done with that, I'm just going to apply one more top coat to this nail. One more nice thick layer again to secure that jewels in there and that's it guys we're all done a nice simple do i hope you guys enjoyed it tonight and if you have any questions feel free to write to me i'll answer them as best as i can and don't forget to subscribe for my upcoming newest videos have a good night everyone bye bye